Hello, you lovely people. <laughs> Sorry about the big long wait for getting back to you with anything. Basically, January has been quite busy. December was quite busy. I'm, I've got my headphones tangled. There we go. Shouldn't be doing that now. Anyway, I had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And January has just flown by. It really has. I don't know quite what has happened to it. Uh, I'm doing loads more in my new job at work. I'm so we, we're still just getting things sorted in the new flat. Mostly it's all sorted now, but we we're getting quite a bit more done. And uh, it's taken me until now to get round to recording again. Um, quite honestly, I have had some time that I could have done it, but I've been ill for quite a lot of the time. Had a really, really bad cold. Um, my tailbone's still very painful, so I find sitting down for long periods quite quite painful as well. And then, of course, I've got work, but I won't keep on complaining about that. Um, so I decided just at this weekend that I needed to start doing some more videos because I miss doing them, and you guys deserve them. Um, and I've had so many wonderful people donate and gift me games and things so you guys all need shout outs um i have right well i may as well just start with those then um okay so i've been gifted so many games quite a lot of them were christmas presents so thank you so much everyone uh, I'll, I'll i'll read you out because you deserve it um i got craven manor from thorin one thank you so much craven manor looks scary i saw mac play it a couple of years ago but i don't remember very much about it so that's definitely one that's going on the list and i'll be playing it soon lord shred gifted me i am bread that rhymes and it's awesome and i've just recorded another couple of episodes of it and i am so so cross with that game it's so difficult but thank you very much um asbestos i can that is the best name i've ever seen uh he or she gifted me law and order legacies so thank you very much that's an early telltale game so it'll be very interesting to see how that goes i will be playing that but offline uh, I, i'd like to see how that goes afro joe gifted me three games for christmas i've no idea why afro joe is so bloody so bloody kind and generous, but there you go. Um, I got from Afrojo, Ether Vapor Remaster. Looks like a fun game. Valiant Hearts, The Great War. I've read very good things about that. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing through that. And Saints Row 4, Game of the Century Edition. Bit of overkill there. Uh, but again, another great game as far as I've heard. Uh, it seems to be controller compatible, so I'm so looking forward to playing it. Uh, Elanda gave me... Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yes, that might be a funny video that I do for a for a fifteen minute stint. Uh, we'll see. Revan got me Postal Two. I'm definitely not going to do a video on that because it's the most offensive thing known to man. But I'm going to have an, a good time playing through it myself. Zygo has gifted me continue question mark nine eight seven six five four three two one zero. I have no idea what to to expect with that, but. There you go, we'll have to see. William White gifted me Doom 3 BFG edition. That harks back to the good old days of Doom 3 when I first got that. I actually did my first ever Let's Play uh, with Doom 3. I was trying to copy Mac and Mash, let's face it. And uh, I've lost the footage. I've no idea where it's gone, but there were, there was some good stuff in there. Imps jumping out and scaring me shitless. So it's a shame that's gone, but never mind. If anyone ever saw it or downloaded it off Filefront, please go and find it because I'd like to like to watch it again. It was originally on Google Videos as well when Google Videos was a thing, but again, I've lost it. Um, Borrow Badger gifted me Magisite. That looks really cool. I'm really looking forward to trying that. Uh, thank you. Uh, Villiam1337 or Villiam Leet gifted me Overcast, Walden and Werewolf, which is a uh, Walden and the Werewolf, which is a sort of tower defense first person shooter kind of game all set in the nighttime with werewolves chasing you. So that looks quite good fun. I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Thank you very much. Sabre or Cyber, I'm sorry if I can't get your name right, gifted me This War of Mine. That looks excellent as well. I'm really looking forward to playing that one through. Thank you. Elanda, again, gifted me Dying Light, which is the, you know, the 
developed AAA zombie game that's just come out. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. It's all installed. In fact, I preloaded it, but uh, I'll be doing a video on that soon. Uh, I think that's going to be one for me to play offline and enjoy by myself, but I might do a few videos here and there just where it's scary. Uh, so thank you so much, Alanda, because I know that's not a cheap game, and I really appreciate it. We should definitely play some multiplayer at some point. Ravan, again, gifted me Grim Fandango, you know, the remastered HD edition. It was on my wish list, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to playing. I remember playing it years ago when the original game was out. It's like in the 90s. Grim Fandango, it was really, really good. Great story. So I'm looking forward to playing that one again, again, offline. Simply Echo or Simply Echo uh, gifted me One Late Night Deadline. Now, I've read some bad things about the game, so I know it's going to be shit, but let's face it. If it's got things that make you scared and make you jump, I'm still going to get scared and jump. That one, that might be something we play on Stalk Mella. It might be something I play myself. We'll have to see, but thank you very much for the gift. Uh, two left. Uh, Killer Twist gifted me Rift's Cave. That's an Oculus Rift video. I mean, a bit more on the Oculus later. But uh, thank you, Killer Twist. That was also on my wish list. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to trying that one out, seeing how it goes. Uh, it looks very good. And finally, Eternal HD. Thank you very much, Eternal HD. You gifted me Lucius. And that was literally five minutes ago. I just started, uh, well, ten minutes ago. I just started doing this video, or I was setting up to do this video, and then, bam, up comes the uh, Lucius gift on Steam. Thank you so much. That's really, really kind of you. Uh, so thank you, and uh, perhaps that's something to do as a Let's Play as well, I'll have to see. That might be one for Stortmuller as well. I know Sparrow was saying we should do that. So that's all of the gifts. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who gifted me and gave me Christmas presents and all these different games. I, I can't play them all. I'm so sorry if I haven't played your game, but I do thank each and every one of you because thank you so much. It's wonderful, and I will play them all at some point. Finally, we had uh, I had one uh, monetary donation. Um, Slade Mitchell donated some money to the Storpy cause. I've still got things I need to buy and things I need to uh, upgrade in my equipment. Um, so thank you very much, Slade. It really helps that you've you know you've gifted uh, donated some money to to Storpy to make sure that I can keep making things good. Um, so again, sorry about the wait. Uh, Slade said, I know it's not much, but I did want to show some thanks this holiday season for one of the most personal, down-to-earth and realistic YouTubers I watch. You never try to overplay your games in order to make them entertaining and you, and you just do you. That's what I enjoy and I hope you will continue to do. Uh, to do so. I hope these funds help you continue to do that. Well, Slade, thank you so much. That's unbelievably nice praise from you. Thank you. Uh, so kind of you. Uh, it's wonderful to hear these wonderful messages. There's people shouting outside my window. Can you hear that? That's worrying. Um, it's kids. Anyway, uh, let's carry on. I've just finished playing scary games, so I'm thinking screaming. What the hell? Anyway, uh, I do have a few things I still need to buy, so thank you so much for wonderful, wonderful feedback and a wonderful message, and for the money as well. It's, you say it's not much, it's more than I would ever ask anyone for, so thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Again, if anyone wants to donate money, you can check down in the description um, and either donate to that PayPal email address, or you can donate via a donate button. Uh, PayPal actually takes a cut if you pay if you donate by the button, but if you donate to the email address that's in the description down there, um, they don't take a cut. So it depends whether you want to pay PayPal or not. Um, what do I need to talk to you about? What do I need to talk about? I've been going on for nearly 10 minutes already. Uh, okay, yeah. What I'm going to do is talk to you a little bit about things that I've been doing and things I've got upcoming. I have been recording some more the Evil Within. I started off hating it and started to love it. It's really scary. <laughs> There's some really terrifying bits coming up, uh, so enjoy those. I'm going to carry on doing that game. I'm going to try and play it quite quickly, you know, quicker than I played Alien Isolation, just so I can get through it uh, and give you, you know, so you're not waiting months at a time for me to release the bloody videos. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. If you want to gift a game, you have to add me on Steam. 
um, I accept Steam invitations. Just search for Storpy and you'll find me. Because um, lots of people some uh, ask, how can I gift you a game? Well, that's the best way to do it. Um, I accept friend invitations on Steam. So yeah, please please do add me if you want to don't if you want to gift a game, or even if you don't want to gift a game, if you just want to join in and uh, enjoy the fun. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, Evil Within. Yes, I've been playing a bit of I Am Bread. That's been frustrating as hell, but good fun. Uh, I'm playing a couple of indie horrors as well. You'll see those very soon. Uh, I won't spoil what they are, but you'll see them. Uh, I've got loads of videos. I've got like a week's worth of videos ready to ready to release just in case I haven't got time this week to record, but I got loads done and there we go. So you'll be able to see those. Um, I'm going to, as I say, do a bit of Dying Light and I'm going to carry on doing some Oculus Rift videos occasionally. When you've had a lot of time out of the Rift and you put it back on again, it's suddenly very, very scary. A lot of people ask me, am I going to do Affected? Yes, I will do affected, but I need to do it during the day when Sparrow's in the room with me and when I'm feeling good, because when you put that thing on, it is just so terrifying what happens in it. I mean, you've seen the mental torment. It's really, really scary, and I really don't want to do that to myself when I'm, you know, trying to lead a normal life. So I will be playing stuff uh, on the Rift. You'll just have to be patient, I'm afraid. Uh... There's one more thing that I want to say. It's the, um, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the Steam broadcasting. Now, when I play games on Steam, I've set it so that it automatically broadcasts. So I might be recording for a game. I might be just chilling out, playing something by myself. Generally, I'll let it broadcast. So if you're a friend of mine on Steam, or indeed if you're not, because I've set it so anyone can watch, um, just find find me, right click on me and click watch game and you'll just be able to hop in and see exactly what I'm playing. Um, I will probably try and do that for when I stream. I'll try and set it up so you can watch me play while I stream and I don't know, we'll have to see how that works but you can you can watch me playing some Binding of Isaac, you can watch me playing The Evil Within. Um, I might have to stop it if it gets too intrusive on the recording session, but you can still see me play it. You might not have my microphone, you might have it, who knows. But yeah, anyway, it's a cool feature. Sparrow and I tested it, and uh, yeah, if you see me in a game, just right-click and watch, and then you can jump on in and just enjoy my my gaming time. I think it's a great feature and well done Steam. So I think that's everything for now. Um, I've got a few social commitments coming up which I'm looking forward to doing but it shouldn't prevent me from recording too much. I'm feeling really motivated and want to do lots of recording. Uh, I, I also did a behind the scenes video for uh, video editing. So people who want to watch video editing you've got a half an hour video of me showing you the ins and outs of how I would edit uh, an episode of something like The Evil Within is what I've chosen to show you. It's really, uh, hopefully, it's really informative and really helpful for you. So please go and watch that when it's up. It won't be up for a day or two yet, I don't think. Uh, maybe this weekend. Uh, I've got it ready to release, but I want to stagger things, like I say, so I can release one a day. But keep commenting. I keep reading your comments and replying where I can. And uh, keep enjoying the videos, really. Just... You know, whenever I've uploaded a video, just go and watch it or give it a thumbs up if you like it, favourite it if you like it. Thumbs up really help, I have to say, um, if you like it, of course. And um, share it on Facebook, Twitter, anything you like. You know, follow me on both those things as well. Uh, it really does help. And um, hey, here's to, here's to seeing more of you join. Uh, welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're old. And... Uh, Carry on watching Storpy. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I think that's everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening to me ramble for nearly 15 minutes. It's a real pleasure to talk to every one of you. Thank you so much, everyone who gifted, donated, and for everyone who just watches and enjoys the videos. Shut up, Steve, you're gushing. Bye, all. Have a great February. <laughs>